Starfire and Robin are one of the most iconic couples in comic book history, so much so that their relationship has been recreated or referenced across about three or four different mediums by this point. Lennon for Mara. There. Now maybe we can be done! Now with them being so iconic, you'd think that they'd be a solid item in the comics, but it's basically been a song on repeat of rekindling old flames, but it never really leading to anything substantial. I know it seems like the DC editorial wants to do anything but get these two together, but it wasn't always the case. In fact, back in the early 90s, there was an entire story arc planned out to have the two get married properly. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We actually need to go over the weirdness that is the Dick Grayson and Coriander relationship. They met while Cory was on the run from the evil Gordonians who were trying to drag her back to her former masters. The Titans showed up, helped her fight off her captors, and Starfire was grateful for their help. She showed how grateful she was by giving Dick a kiss on the lips. Now yeah, it was to learn English and all that jazz, but let's be real, she just wanted to plant her golden lips on some good old Dick. Very poor choice of words. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. You would think that that would seal the deal, but Dick was actually dating a vampire? It was 80s DC, don't question it. So over the course of their adventures together, Cory really started feeling your boy, but Dick is an honorable man, and he's a one-woman man. So when Cory expressed her love for him, he actually had to turn her down, crushing her. After Cory had been kidnapped by Blackfire and nearly died during the ordeal, Dick realized just how much he loved her. Not only that, but he was starting to see how good they really were for each other. Both of them were in a very pivotal part of their lives. Dick had spent all these past few years being Robin, but now he was about to go out on his own and be his own hero. And the person who made him realize that was actually Coriander, who was also going through a transitionary period of her own. She had to now adjust to this life as a superhero on a planet whose culture she barely even respects, let alone understands. And now that Dick could see this clearly, he was ready to give Coriander his heart. Also, the vampire girlfriend died or something. These two were a match made in heaven. They worked on the battlefield and off the battlefield. And if you look up art from the comic books back in the day, you can tell that DC really were pushing these guys as their number one power couple. Can you blame them? I mean, they really are that one true pairing that makes our nerd hearts all a flutter. And it's easy to see why. These two bring out the best in each other. Dick credits Corey with helping him become the man that he needed to be, apart from his role as Batman's former sidekick. She taught him the joys of living life full of passion and emotional freedom. At the same time, Dick was instrumental in helping Corey adjust to her life on Earth. He challenged her to adjust her moral compass to be more suitable of an Earth-based superhero instead of an alien warrior. They balance each other out, one providing emotional freedom, the other emotional restraint. But it's comic books, the place where no happy relationships are allowed, and so something had to show up to break these two up. And that showed up in the form of Coriander having to go get married on Tamaran. She got married to a general named Karas. I may or may not be pronouncing that right. She assured Dick that this was just a political wedding. Any feelings she had for Karas were purely platonic. Even he had his own woman who he was in love with. So they basically agreed that they'll keep up appearances. But Dick just couldn't get past the idea of being with a married woman even if that woman was Coriander. And at the ceremony, the sight of these two exchanging vows and fusing together in marriage absolutely crushed Dick. Even though Cory secretly wished he would speak out an objection, even if it didn't lead to anything, he returned to Earth with a broken heart, expecting never to see Cory again. But eventually, Cory did return to Earth, realizing that Earth was her true home now. Technically, she was still married to Karas, but it was a purely political marriage. It took some convincing on Cory's part, but eventually Dick did warm up to the idea of being with Starfire, even though technically she was married. And with that out of the way, Dick Cory was back on track. Not only are they back, but they weather some new challenges together as a couple. Like the time Dick kept having reoccurring dreams about making love with Raven. 
When he comes clean about the dreams, Corey just sits there and listens without judgment or anything. As a Tamaranian, Corey's never afraid of people expressing their love or what they feel. In fact, she embraces it as one of her strongest qualities, something that Dick can't quite wrap his head around, but he appreciates Corey's perspective. The same perspective gave Corey the insight to figure out what's happening, that Raven, the literal empath of the group, was influencing Dick's dreams with her own strong feelings for Dick. But they weren't romantic feelings. It was just that Raven really feels things really intensely and she's in an environment where she can actually allow herself to feel things for the first time in her life. Corey even goes to Raven and talks about it with her, making a close friend out of her in the process as the two bond one on one for the first time. It was a big win for Corey that culminated in Dick moving in with her. In the following years, the two would continue to flourish as a couple, even helping each other get through some really rough periods, like the death of Jason Todd and even witnessing the death of Karaz together. But Coriander was starting to feel like she was losing herself in the relationship. And in general, Starfire at the time had this really big need to have a family and she was developing an unhealthy attachment to the Titans and that ended up being more harm than good for her emotionally. And so Cory was starting to have her own doubts about the relationship. Not helped by the fact that Dick kind of cheated on her with a shapeshifter who turned herself into Starfire and then slept with him. But Nightwing wasn't just about to let his girl go like that, and so he took a page out of the Martin Payne playbook and did a Hail Mary proposal. He didn't want Cory to leave, and so he proposed to her. This is Coriander. She's a hopeless romantic, and she had wanted a wedding with Dick so bad that she said yes, even with her doubts, doubts that she would express to the likes of her BFF Donna Troy. But nonetheless, she went ahead with it and walked down the aisle with Dick Grayson, getting ready to become Mrs. Dick Grayson. I mean, just look at her in this wedding gown. You can tell that she truly believes in this. Too bad a demonic raven would interrupt the ceremony before they were made official and ended up possessing Corey. The whole ordeal left Starfire bedridden, and it left her and Dick Grayson unmarried. When she finally came to, the two had to reconcile this messy relationship of theirs. And it was at this point that Coriander can no longer deny the doubts that she's having about the relationship. She and Dick agree to have one last date that she doesn't even go to. She straight up ghosts Nightwing. She flies off, determined to make her next move her own. Cory would actually leave the team for a period of time and sort of work things out in her own head and space. When she came back and reunited with Dick, all the feelings were still there on both ends. But now we're in the territory that I mentioned earlier. Either they would confess their feelings for each other, but something would happen to keep them from hearing each other, or they would have a hot, passionate night together, only to learn that they were under some sort of corruption or manipulation from a demon. This would happen year after year, issue after issue, arc after arc. Now you might be thinking, this don't make no sense. Fans love them together. Why break them up? If you're thinking that, then you and I are in the same boat. I've heard from some fans that back in the day, the only relationship in comics that was more popular than Nightwing and Starfire was Spider-Man and Mary Jane. But hell, even that relationship didn't remain sacred, so why should I expect things to be any different here? But that still leaves us with the same question. Why? The answer may or may not surprise you. At the time, Nightwing was really coming to his own as a character. He wasn't just a boy wonder anymore, no longer just a sidekick, but a rising star in the Bat family. So the DC editorial staff wanted to make him more of a Batman focused character. To do this, first they had to cut off all those pesky loose ends, aka the team of a found family that Dick had resided in comfortably for years. So any and all plans of moving Nightwing forward with the Titans were essentially scrapped or retooled so that he could eventually leave the team and go back to Gotham and the Bat. And that included his relationship with Starfire. And so the one true pairing of Dick Corey would officially end in the new Titans issue 114 released in 1994, a whole 14 years after the two first met in the new Teen Titans issue 1. Funny how all those years ago, 
DC was suffering from the same problems that it still suffers from today, an overimportance placed on Batman books and characters. And damn if learning this didn't bring my piss to a boil. Like, how brain dead do you have to be? You have the strongest superhero couple in one of the hottest superhero titles. The field goal is literally two feet away, and somehow you managed to miss the ball by a mile. It's like if Lucy had actually left the ball in place for Charlie Brown to kick, and somehow he still missed it and went flying. That's literally what DC did to Dick Corey. So everyone who wishes that Corey and Dick would have actually got married, everyone who wishes Nightstar wore a Prime Universe character, thank the geniuses behind this decision for why that's not the case. But there was a time where things could have been different. Remember back at the beginning of this video when I said there were people in DC who wanted to give Dick and Corey a happily ever after? Let's circle back to that. It was set to take place in a 1991 Nightwing miniseries, written by Art Thilbert, or Tilbert, I don't know if the H is silent or not, and with the blessing of none other than Marv Wolfman. The following is an excerpt from an interview in which Art lays out the overview for the entire arc. As the miniseries opened, Starfire confronted Nightwing about where their relationship was heading. They had been dating for a few years and reached a point in their relationship where it had to take the next big step. Before any decisions were made, an alien invasion threatened the Earth, taking Starfire hostage. Nightwing investigated and started formulating a plan to stop the invasion and rescue Starfire. Meanwhile, the other heroes in the DC Universe learned of the alien threat and mounted a counteroffensive, but Batman stopped them from taking any action when he realized Nightwing already had the situation assessed and was confident his former sidekick could handle it on his own. Nightwing is able to reach the aliens and stop the invasion, as well as rescue Starfire. The miniseries would end with Nightwing cradling Starfire in his arms, emerging from the alien stronghold. A crowd of DC heroes would part to watch Nightwing emerge with Starfire in his arms, having defeated the alien threat. Now reunited with Cory, Nightwing proposes marriage, and she accepts. So there we have it, what could have been, and should have been in my opinion, the beginning of Dick Corey getting married properly. So why didn't we get this again? Oh yeah, that's right, editorial bullshit again. Hello darkness, my old friend. While Art was working on his magnum opus Nightfire marriage arc, Marvel came with a lucrative offer for him to write for Cable. If you were around in the 90s, then you likely remember how much the X-Men, and Cable in particular, were a thing. The Teen Titans heyday in the comics really was in the 80s, and they haven't been the same since. So Art followed the money, and when he left, he took all his ideas with him. So we never got the great marriage arc. What were you thinking shutting this operation down? It could have been great! But if I'm being honest, this story, while it does make me excited for the fact that somebody in DC really wanted to see these guys get together for real, I think the events that would have led up to their marriage could have definitely been reworked a few times. This storyline sounds like something that was still cooking. It wasn't cookies yet, it still needed some time in the oven. I mean, first of all, there's the whole idea of Corey getting kidnapped and Nightwing having to save her. Not that she's above needing to be saved, but it seems like that's a reoccurring theme for their relationship. So essentially, every time their relationship levels up, it's bookended by Starfire needing to be saved. And I don't think that's necessarily the best look. Not saying the whole idea needs to be scrapped, it's just something that's been done already so many times in their own relationship. Now what could happen is maybe she gets kidnapped and Nightwing goes to save her and instead of having to carry her out on his arms, they end up fighting together. I'm really not holding my breath to see anything like it happen in the comics. But maybe there's hope in other media. I mean a lot of people were introduced to Starfire and Robin being a thing at all from the Teen Titans cartoon and their relationship is nowhere near as messy in the cartoon. And in the DC AMU, the two have been in a long-term committed relationship for some time. Maybe they'll get married in that live-action Teen Titans movie they're making. But for now, let's just have us a good conversation about Dick Corey. Would you have liked to see Art's vision come to fruition? Do you think they could have gotten together in some other type of way? Or are they better off apart? And after you leave that comment, click this video right here to get you some more alien warrior hippie princess in your life. And until next time, pimpin', Keep on simping.